I've been here a long time. No, not as long as this land, the forest, the rivers and creeks, the marshlands, or the beaches. All of it developed and crafted by some greater power, sculpted over the years by the natural forces that surround them, designed by an artist of incredible talent. The ebb and flow of the tides, the unending beaches surrounding the sea islands, even the massive expanse of the sky at nighttime. What surrounds us only serves as a complement to the greater world, one of brick and mortar built over the centuries along the Cooper and Ashley Rivers. A city that has become my home, just as it's been home for so many before me and so many to come after. Much has changed since 1670, the economic center and capital of colonial South Carolina, the antebellum powerhouse of a state on the verge of secession, a devastated home destroyed by the hands of a federal general, a 19th century cradle of the arts, jazz, opera, and literature, an eroding downtown on the cusp of its own renaissance, led by a native son, a mayor who has led us for 40 years and well into this new century. Even today, and in our darkest hours, our community has risen to show the strength and love and passion and resolve that makes our city unlike any other. We are blessed to be so fortunate. I am no famed son of this city. My family's name does not adorn street signs, or statues, or mansions, or auditoriums, nor does it need to. My name has been written in the annals of history by attending this historic university. I will make history. That's what you should say to yourself each and every day. People care here. They understand you here. You're free to be yourself and to become the person you were meant to be. The liberal arts opens different perspectives and challenges you, just as it did me. Your best friends are here, and you don't even know them yet. Your life is enriched by our culture and given purpose by what lies ahead. And those days when you feel it couldn't get any better, you realize, remembering these things, and these people, that this place will make the rest of it all worthwhile. Our alumni forever hold with them the view of scattered church steeples, the sun breaking over the harbor, the casual back rides through the historic streets, studying under more scattered canopies, the commonalities that bonded them in friendship, and the life they were granted on the bricks of the college. Your life will have ups and downs, success and failure, but you will have the strength to remain steadfast because you, over everyone else, were given the opportunity to study in this most hallowed of places. You are part of an extraordinary few who will walk through the gate large only to know thyself as the ultimate test. You are connected by a single maroon cord so strong it cannot be broken by any who try to do so. Once you sign the convocation ledger, you will forever have a responsibility and duty to your alma mater. Pursue your passion. You will not give up. You will persist in the upward march of humanity, knowing that you and the other loyal sons and daughters of the college are there to march with you. And when you finally cross the system, donning your white. The feeling of accomplishment will forever push you forward. And when the sun sets this evening, know that it is not the end. Tomorrow it will rise again as a new chapter, a chapter in the life of our city, a chapter in the life of our college, and a chapter in your life here, at home, at Charleston.